pain. Hello. Look. Did you get did you get a pain? No. if you have to approve. Someone else is watching. Hello, someone else. Who is that? Doesn't say. We have two people. Woo Hello, friends. Hello, DC. And others. It's that time of year. It's that time of year for happy hour. It's that time of day. The time of day. I meant spring. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. we're wearing our bow ties and our spring fashions because God knows no one else is going to get to see them thanks to COVID, thanks to being trapped here in this apartment with my fiancé. Um, Hello, Will. So, we decided this would be a great opportunity to talk about cocktails. Everyone's trapped at home, everyone needs to drink, no one wants to drink alone. Tonight, we're featuring martinis. There's a couple of classic ways to make martinis, am I right? Yes, that's right. You can... Shake. Or... You can... Stir. Love it. Some people like them dirty. Some think people like it with a twist. Tonight we're going to show you both ways. Because I like them twisted. Kyle likes them dirty. You know. Tomato, tomato. Here we are. So. Okay, so you're going to start with yours? Oh, yes. So we shall begin with a shaker. Which we have conveniently pre-prepared, like Martha Stewart on a cooking show. This is the very, this is the most important step, um, okay. and this is the one that you're probably going to mess up the, the fastest is the ice. So just be very careful with that. If you decide to overpour any of these ingredients, make it the vodka. But we like to go to about a four to one ratio vodka to vermouth. So with this jigger, I'm gonna do like, yeah, four to one. This is gonna be a big one, but it's always good to have extras, leftovers. So you can refill your glass later on. As Tony O says, you always want extra in the, in the shaker. So. Okay, so we put four to one. So four parts of the Tito's, one part of the, this is extra dry vermouth. You can pick yeah. that up at the liquor store, super easy. Don't use sweet vermouth. You'll end up with a completely different cocktail. Yeah. Then... And putting it on the ice is going to take the bite off of the alcohol. And water it down a little bit because everything we put in there was booze so far. So get a little water to it. Now, we shake. I like mine extra cold. Now, here's another tip for keeping it extra cold. 
we've placed our glasses in the freezer ahead of time so that the glass itself will already be cold. Would you like to grab our glasses from the freezer? This is a key step. Amateurs keep their glasses at room temperature, but you've got to chill your glass first. Look at it, it's like a nice frosted beer mug. Gotta love it. Now, we like to garnish a twisted martini with a little lemon. So we'll peel, 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 a nice little zest from our beautiful lemon and place it into the glass. Sometimes you can swirl it around the rim of the glass too if you want a little extra hint of the lemon. Look at that. Hello, Steph. Thanks for joining us. Look at this. This is a martini with a twist. Cheers, friend. Wait, I don't have one yet. I'll drink with you too. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do my preferred variation on a martini, which is a dirty martini, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stir it so that you can see the difference here. <clears throat> you know the, the, the non-bond method. The non-James Bond method. Um, this is not a musical baton. It's actually a bar implement. It's a bar spoon, um, and you can <clears throat> you can see it's got. Can you see that? It's it's got like a swizzle stick. A swizzle stick end to it, and that's going to help you twist. Okay, can you fill me up with Yes. Ice. Ice. So for those of you who don't know, we are DC Wine and Dine. We have a DC, Maryland, Virginia wine and eating blog. Follow us at dcwineanddine.com. Um, okay. Support your local businesses during the crisis. Support your local businesses during the crisis. We will have uh, a little PSA at the end of this session. Uh, can I have uh, the, the vodka? Vodka. Always use a good vodka. Tito's is a pretty good one. Oh, well, that's, yeah. Always put the lid back on when you're done, too, so that somebody else who picks it up doesn't spill it all over the place. Um, but use a good vodka. Tito's is a really good vodka at a good, you know, base price. And They're you not paying us to say this. Yeah, no, they really yet. didn't. No, we actually get paid zero <laughs> to do this, so. Um, am I also making a... So, I'm just gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do the, the, the thing that could have been done, which is to turn the jigger over. If you don't want to drink as much. And the sweet for those. So you have to use the other side. Driver. I'm sorry, driver. Yeah. Use the other side of the jigger, then that gives you what you need. Now, dirty martinis use olive juice. So Instead you just, of the lemon? These olives, olive. these olives are from Costco. They're such a great deal, and they're really yummy. Um, just pour away to your heart's content. Do you if like you, it filthy dirty if or you, a little extra? Yeah, if you want, you know, like the normal recipe, just add another half part, part of, or another one part of of olive juice, if you want more than that, go for it. Okay, now, this is a stirred martini, as I mentioned. So if you just use that little swizzle stick portion of the spoon, it, it makes it really easy to twist like this, to turn. Hello, Lynn, hello, Anthony, welcome. Hello, friends. I shall retrieve Kyle's pre-chilled glass from the freezer. Yes, very important. All right. Frosted window pane. Oh, I need a, I need a, um... The key of the frozen glass is you can enjoy your drink a little longer if you're a slow drinker. Some people are, I am not. I'm almost going to finish my first one before Kyle even gets his first one made. He's probably looking for an umbrella or some accoutrement in our bar. No, I'm looking for a cocktail strainer. Ah. That's what these funny little things are, the cocktail strainer. Important device. So this just goes over the beaker and helps you keep the ice on the inside. Look at that. The 
fills the glass just perfectly. And thank you to our studio crew who has pre-prepared oh. the garnishments. I forgot the bitters. Normally you put bitters in a in a, a dirty martini, so oh, I'll just okay. add a little drop here. This is Stir them with an olive. Tony and Frank right there. Just adds a little extra something. I'll stir it in with the olives. My favorite part of a dirty martini is that you get snacks along with your drink. So. My favorite part of a martini with a twist is not wasting any of the glass's volume for snacks when you could have liquid filling it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Always cheers. look in the eyes when you cheers. Yeah, this yes. is an important thing. Cheers. Now you see. Hmm. That's scrumptious. This is how you make martinis, both shaken and stirred, twisted and dirty, a little bit of everything. Next week we think we might tackle brown liquor cocktails. We might do a Manhattan and an Old Fashioned, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. We'll but see. As I said in the outset, this, this little evening serves several purposes. One, cocktails. Two, Spring fashion. Show off your spring fashion. No one's going to get to see it because we're not leaving the damn house again until it's summertime. So you've got a whole section of your wardrobe that's just going to go to waste this year. Yeah. But you can sport it online with your friends or in Zoom meetings or Zoom cocktail parties. And the final portion of it is we get to spend time with all of you, whom we adore. Most of you, at least. Well, who else there? Uh, Some of you. Karen is, is joining us, Eric, Anthony. So, uh, we, have to, we have to take a moment to issue a PSA to everyone here in the DC area. We all know that um, we have to stay home in order to, to suppress this disease going around. But wineries are still producing wine, and they still have a lot of really good wine, and there's great wine in this area. Uh, so we're going to put a plug in for one of our favorites tonight, and we'll, we'll highlight some of the great ones that are doing some fun things in this time. Um, Linden Vineyards in Linden, Virginia is offering free shipping uh, of purchases to the state of Virginia and now to the District of Columbia. So um, give them a shout. You can find them at lindenvineyards.com. Um, they are a little old school, so you're going to have to call them and probably leave a message. Um, but they'll get back to you and or they send can, an email or, or you can email them too. Yeah, yeah, but you probably shouldn't email your credit card information. Oh, yeah, that's probably a good, yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Uh, but Jim Law and Shari Venus over there are really sweet and they're uh, They're trying to hang in there with uh, with the winery being closed for the for the foreseeable future So um, give them a little business. They have great classic Virginia wines and they'll ship them to your doorstep now. For those counting along at home, yes, I'm on my second martini. Kyle's only on his first. And I had a beer before, but that started. Well, who's counting? It was also a DC beer. It was, because we're supporting local businesses yes. during this epidemic. Hello, Ben! Hello, Benjamin! Oh, Sandy! Hello, Sandy! It's great to see you. Uh, I think everyone can find a replay of this video on our Facebook page. Uh, just look for DC Wine and Dine. Um, Please excuse the introduction, we were working out our technical difficulties. Yeah, there's a period of probably a minute there where we were trying to figure out if it was actually working. Um, but it seems like it really did. So. What winery was that, Ben asks? Linden. Uh, you are familiar with it, I believe, as a member of the wine club there yourself. Yes, we all know Linden well. So we will continue, um, we'll continue doing this until, until the COVID goes away because we're all stuck at home and we need something fabulous to do. And I agree, Eric, Kyle is drinking disappointingly slow. You know what? Some people are reading the comments. Okay, yep, friends. it's me. Drink up, he says. All right, friends. We'll see you again soon. We're not sure how frequently we'll do these. Could be daily, could be weekly, could be hourly. Who knows? We might be back in 45 minutes with a different cocktail. Yeah. We'll see where the night takes us and where it takes you. And may it take you somewhere pleasant and happy and dreamy. Ciao.